Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK and welcome back to Anonymous Code. We are participating in the preparations of a concert. However, I think preparations are done. If anything, there's final preparations being done here. And uh, this concert is an AR variation for those uh, idol cops that have both helped us and have kind of given us a hard time. Though I think they've now helped us more than they've hindered us, so I guess we can call them good guys? Like, at least from our perspective? I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about them. In a way, they're annoying. In a way, they're kind of interesting. They break the mold for sure. Regardless, the last episode, we got a little bit more information just in general, but uh, also, you know, this is kind of like a, a lighthearted moment. A little bit of a of a opportunity to catch your breath, I guess you can say. Though, at the same time, not really, because Juno has been listening in on our conversations. She's been observing us. So, can we really, you know, take it easy? Probably not. But we're going to try, and, you know, totally, you know, nothing is totally going to happen during this fine Christmas day, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, see, final preparations. We had started doing the final adjustments at noon, and we had reached the final stages now. When we actually put the AR onto the stage, the look and feel of some parts were a little off. The concert was going to be open air too, so the sunlight was something that we had to think about carefully. We had to do, or yeah, we had to do adjust, a, a hold on there, hold on there game that doesn't read right. We had to adjust a bunch of details to ensure everything looked as awesome as possible. Hey, again, you know, just, uh, you know, hi, my name's Michael and um, hey, I'm, I'm cool with like, you know, proofreading and all that when it comes to this, you know, if I'm compensated. Anyways. By the way, just I was such a little bitch whenever I was in college and uh, not as much in university because I wasn't taking any like writing classes, but I was so like, I was so, I, I don't know what the word is, but yeah, I, I'm going to say I was a little bitch when it came to like proofreading and all that, like everything just had to read perfectly. But then I look into things a little bit too much and then stumble over myself, so... I'm not perfect either. Who is? We ran the AR in our heads again. The park was full of families, but we were running the AR in private mode so nobody else could see what we had set up. The kids were preoccupied with the mascots and the activity tents that were set up. I hoped that they'd still have energy left for the concert. Nah, no excuses. If we did our job properly, it would make the kids happy no matter how tired they were. <laughs> We then shared the final version with the CFD. The concert was in 10 minutes. We'd ended up working to the wire. Hey, what up, Wind? He did say he would be here, and he's doing his weird... Well, I guess he's running here, but... Wind waved as he ran over. He wasn't alone. He's such a jumpy character, honestly. Uh, is it such a good idea for us to all be taking it easy? Oh, these are the um these are the guys that we saw in the very beginning, right? Okay, yeah, these two were on that phone call, right, in the very beginning? No, no. Nope, here we go. Let's see what's gonna happen here. I feel like, you know, there, there's always like a calm before a storm, right? And we see this in games, movies, shows, all the time. You know, it's nice, peaceful. For, for like too long and I know it's been like peaceful for like 20 minutes but I feel like that's 20 minutes too long especially for anonymous code I feel like the the peacefulness has really overstayed its welcome and shit's really gonna hit the fan after hearing Rico's announcement the kids scattered around the park gathered in front of the stage 
っちですあ、oh. So how does this work? They're gonna like educate and then have a concert? We stood near the middle of the spectator area, but we made sure to stay at the edge so that we didn't block anything for the kids. What? Looking around, I realized Momo was the only person who'd come with me. Wind and the others had found a place way back. Well, we had a bit of a crowd here, so it made sense we couldn't all be together. It's crazy that there actually is like a turnout of some sort. There were about 30 kids right in front of the stage and their parents were uh, behind them. And most of the kids looked like they were in elementary school and didn't seem to know what was going on. But hey, you know, it's an event. It gets them outside, something to do. That was when the CFD walked on stage. What? Oh, is this their, like, introduction? Yes, it is. I forgot that I completely, like, wiped this from my memory after we, uh, went through this the first time. Again, not really sure about that last bit, like... If it's consensual, you know? Also, why does the crowd sound like a bunch of dudes, not kids? I could hear the kids cheering. I wasn't sure what to make of the CFD when I first met them, but their whole act worked way better on stage. Honestly, it was kind of funny how we were trying to run away from them and how we fooled them. Good times way back in the beginning. If they actually do play like an actual song here or something, I will 100% be cutting that. The audience enabled AR. Most of the kids had tablets, while the adults had both tablets and BMI. What a stupid name. That is so silly, but I guess it fits them. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Oh, okay, they're just performing. Wait, if they actually start singing, though. Oh, there's like a little tune in the background, but that's okay. The AR appeared right as the song uh, had started. Cartoon characters based on tablets, PCs, and everyday electronics popped out and bounced toward the kids. Uh, I guess there is like a little bit of a song that I'm hearing. I'll have to go back and give it a listen if I don't want to, you know, avoid cringe for the day. They danced and acted out the, fr uh, the phrases that the CFD were singing. All the lyrics were displayed on stage in a large font so the kids could learn about cyber crimes. Of course, since just displaying them would be boring, we had made sure to make the entrances and exits more dynamic. Some lyrics fell from the sky, others drove off in cars. We had added as many transitions as we could. We'd made it so flower petals and bubbles floated around the stage every now and then to keep the kids from getting bored. I remember working on projects back when I was in high school that involved uh, motion, well, I don't know if you want to call it motion graphics, but it was basically use of text and all that in certain ways that like line up with a song uh, or a song's lyrics in order for it to seem like a cool visual. I sucked at it. But one of my classmates did it in such a really cool ass way where like words encapsulated more words or like the lyrics lines encapsulated more lines. It was, it was trippy. It, it was pretty cool though. They had busy schedules, but they must have been practicing whenever they found free time. Well, yeah, they've got two occupations. Man, it sure felt good to help, to help people. There was no better feeling in the world. I can see why he really wants to just jump out of the hacking scene, though. This is more his style, for sure. Or at least, in my opinion, it would be. I mean, he's not doing anything illegal, he's not getting himself in trouble, but at the end of the day, he is helping people out and making people happy. From the bottom of my heart, I was grateful that I had the chance to be a part of this. I was utterly clueless about so many things before I started, but working together, Poland and I had accomplished something amazing. Again, the dynamic duo. Whether they're in a life or death situation or, you know, helping out with a concert, they do good. They do good. It was the first person who encouraged me too. Oh man, look at him. He's such a, such a happy boy. 
Poland was standing next to me, watching the concert with a smile on his face and a sparkle in his eyes. He glanced around at the audience's reactions a few times, but for the most part, his eyes were fixed on the stage. He looked so pure that I couldn't help but smile. You know, he's a, he's a good main character, honestly. Like, all around, yeah, I mean, he's got faults. You know, no character will ever get away from from having some issues, but... You know he's 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 all right. Like he's he's got a he's got a good uh he's got a good mentality. I think for the most part, I doubt I would I have felt so at peace if I stayed alone. This was all because I had met Poland. His words are what inspired me to change. I was sure of it now. Our meeting was fated. What a nice way to spend a Christmas. Definitely not getting gifts. Let's not make that mistake again. The CFD's concert was a roaring success. The kids seemed really happy. I heard them humming the songs and telling their parents they had fun. It's gonna suck when we have to jump because something's gonna happen here at the end of the day, huh? I have, I just have a bad feeling. Like, such, such a bad feeling that something is going to happen. I raised my hand for a high five. Momo didn't leave me hanging, but it was slightly awkward. Yes, let's. We went backstage where the CFD were joining hands excitedly. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised that there were no issues during the event. But now that it's after the event? Come on, game, throw it at us. Just just do it already. Rip the band-aid off. Oh, come on. He literally put this shit together. Seriously, what is with the angst? If it's like because of, you know, our first encounter and we had to, you know, give them the slip, then... Well, shit. They don't know how many times we had to deal with them. I guess she also isn't a fan of us, you know, breaking the law, you know, to save the day, though. Damn, we're gonna leave her hanging with that. We stunned her. We just straight up stunned her with that. She didn't expect there to be a, a, a lasting fan from this. Oh, what's in the news here? Ex esports Olympics contestant Onoishi becomes president of the Japanese esports union. Oh, cool. That was when I realized. Wind and the others were nowhere in sight. Yeah, where did where did they go? Kurose. Oh, come and maybe in general, if we don't save the world. What did he mean by the last Christmas of the year? There's only one Christmas a year. Yeah, that was a bit of a weird statement now that he's throwing it out there. Momo was perplexed too. I wasn't surprised. Actually, that helped me relax. Momo. このところ朝からばんまで作業してるだろう。息抜きした方がいい。それを言ったらポロンさんも同じです。今日も朝まで仕事してたわけですし。じゃあ一緒に強制休暇を取るしかないな。ですね。Well, they're quick to agree. We both nodded and then walked into town. Okay, now is something bad gonna happen? It's not that I want something bad to happen, but I feel like. There might be something bad happening, you know? The Sun Mall... Yeah, the Sun Mall shopping district was AR decorated in red, white, green, and gold, all the colors of Christmas. 
Yep. Every shop, stall, and cafe was open for business. The workers were wearing AR Santa hats and shouting to customers as they sold Christmas chickens, cakes, and presents. Christmas chickens, huh? Every store was overflowing with customers. I felt like I was at a theme park or something. But everyone seemed more interested in having fun than desperately trying to get their shopping done. Though I will have to admit, it's all AR. Every bit of it. Like, there's, there's not a single bit of actual physical Christmas. That is very disappointing. Okay, I, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not religious at all. 100% not religious. However, my family does celebrate Christmas, and I celebrate Christmas with them because it's a day where all family kind of gets together. It's how I see it. It's a very joyful day for family and friends. And honestly, I love the idea of giving each other gifts because, you know, we love each other and we want each other to be happy. We want to show our appreciation for one another and also pretty lights. So knowing that all of this is kind of just fake is kind of sad. I hope that is not the future we're going for and we keep some physical stuff around, you know? And if you guys celebrate Hanukkah or a similar holiday that isn't Christmas necessarily, I'm sure you understand the idea of being there with friends and family and just enjoying the season. Again, it does look nice, but it, it's kind of sad that it's all just AR. Momo and I walked down the crowded street. New AR decorations kept appearing every few steps, and Momo looked at every one of them. What? Honestly, I'm down with it. It is, actually. This is, this is kind of nice. She did seem more relaxed than she normally was. She looked around, but then a crowd came between us. I heard an employee in one of the stores up ahead announcing a Christmas sale. Oh, wait, what, what do we got here? Obesity, a rampant epidemic. How did 40% of the world become fat? Well, I don't know. We, we can use the same excuse that Momo used uh, in the beginning of this fine Christmas day and say that it's because of, you know, commercialized, you know, this and that, you know? I mean, more and more people are eating unhealthily because it's being advertised and thrown in everybody's faces like no tomorrow. The masses went wild. Momo and I were like ships caught in a storm as the surging crowds kept changing speed and direction. People came between us, and we were separated even further. How the hell is this even happening? I tried getting back to her, but the crowds were too crazy. Momo weaved through the gaps and reached out to me. I managed to grab her hand. I pulled and brought her close to me. It's like a festival all of a sudden. Still holding on to her, we fought through the flood of people. Damn, her hand was so small and soft. It was so dainty, I felt like I was going to lose grip of it at any moment. It was almost like she could tell, because she was holding my hand really tight. I squeezed it back to make sure we didn't get separated. How cute. Okay, now is disaster going to strike? The crowds were so wild that we'd struggled to get out. How is it that we're running into these two? Oh, no, no. 
Oh, you saw. What happened? What's going on? We're not. Oh, we're still holding hands, aren't we? Momo and I suddenly let go of each other's hands. No, but why are you saying it like that? Okay, but... Yeah, I, it, come on now. Thank you, O's. Thank you. Goodbye. Yep, there they go. We made our way through Nakano, avoiding the crowds on our way to the Nakano Sun Plaza viewing platform, which also has a whole bunch of AR. That is, I don't know. There were lots of AR decorations here too. There were a few couples and families, but it wasn't as crowded as the other places. Passing through the AR snow, we moved to a quiet corner. The scenery the other side of the handrails wasn't, uh, or on the other side. The scenery on the other side of the handrails wasn't too bright, but there was a certain charm to the subtle lighting that we could make out. <gasps> AR snow, huh? Where have we seen that before? Honestly, it is one of those places where I would like to visit. There are a lot of big cities that I feel like you just have to be there. You have to be there and soak it all in, which I feel like is completely impossible. Like uh, going to Vegas, you know, a couple months ago. I feel like I what I did not even scratch the fucking surface of everything that the uh, that the strip has to offer, but there is so much there. It's just, yeah, you have to go to these you know these notable areas, these notable cities, most definitely. Momo fell silent. She looked kind of sad. それって。オリジナルのはい。彼女は2005年に97歳で亡くなりました。ですが、コピーである私は30年後の世界で生きています。10代の少女の姿で。Yeah, that is kind of how it's going down, isn't it? この異常さは初めから分かってました。でも、使命を優先するためにずっと Momo's origins were complicated. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Holy shit, man. Like, it is ridiculous. It actually took me a bit to really, you know, figure it out. I couldn't blame her for dwelling on them. Momo looked down and fell silent again. I mean, she can truly create a new identity for herself with Momo uh, Aizaki and go with that. I mean, there's no problem there, is there? It's Aizaki, right? But Momo was different. She wouldn't want half-assed platitudes, and that's why I knew what to say to her. Honestly, yeah, I would say at this point, two completely different people. Momo 
Okay, maybe not completely, but two different people. She looked down as she spoke. And that is fine, 100%. But afterwards, you know. She has a life to live for herself afterwards. Exactly. I agree. I could see strength welling up in her eyes again. Yeah, of course. I still love that somebody commented on, what was that, the uh, second video, the second episode for Anonymous Code, when we actually met Momo, and the way that, like, Poland took the uh, bits and pieces that he got out of the, the news thing, the news ticker in the top right, uh, to try and, like, piece together a name for her, uh, or I guess the imaginary girlfriend that was supposed to, you know, not show up, but then, you know, she did. Uh, yeah, that, that whole P-tier Griffin comment. Whoever put that, you are a legend because I was also thinking the same thing after recording that, that episode. That was just incredible, honestly. Where are my Family Guy fans at? Old school Family Guy, though. Momo blushed as she smiled at me. She looked away and down at Nakano, at the world celebrating Christmas, a world of innocent people having fun, all of it a single moment in their peaceful lives. Yeah, one more month. Not even a month. The end of everything was right around the corner. True that, homie. Yeah, we really gotta, like, you know, refocus here, regroup, if you will, and, and get our focus back on the uh, the main goal here. What's going on? Uh-oh. The morgue? Oh, no. There's only one reason we hear about the morgue. Yep, called it. So he wasn't dead? Well, how? Well, now, now that I'm thinking about it, he was shot in the head. Oh boy. Yeah, we have more agents after us and David is still out there, apparently. Unless he was just like, um... Wait, hold on. Wait, so he is, like, up and at him? He wasn't, like, taken from the morgue? Because that's what I was immediately thinking afterwards. Like, what if he was just taken from the morgue? The priest walked away, but stopped for a moment. He seemed perplexed by something. The priest expressed his gratitude and excused himself. Yeah, don't question shit here. After seeing him off, Felino took out a tablet and played a video. It displayed something from an age-long past, but the quality was clear, for it was a simulation generated by Necro Pilgrimage. It showed October 13th, 1917, the day of the final miracle of Fatima. An unnerving sound resonated all around. Somebody pointed at the sky and those nearby looked up at once. They did the, it's a bird, it's a plane sort of thing. Even so, it was the early 1900s, so something abnormal was unfolding above. The sun was revolving with great intensity. It was akin to the wheel of a train or a spinning firework. Suddenly, as its rays danced downward, the sun seemed to split apart. Brilliant fragments scattered to the surroundings like the juice of a fruit. Each was an arrow of light. Over and over, they flew to the distant horizon. Rather than cowering, the people cheered at the miracle taking place before their eyes. Their voices grew louder until the cacophony overwhelmed the unsettling sound of the darting fragments. True that.
主よあなたのしるべに感謝します Yeah, I don't know what to say to any of that, honestly. It's,、uh, it's a little beyond me. What's going on here? After Poland and I had dinner, we walked, or he had walked me to the hotel I was staying at. We were staying at hotels in and around Nakano, and this was tonight's accommodation. Rosario was already in the room. I'm going to go to the hotel. 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 Oh, 100%. Security had been tightened, but that didn't mean we could relax. We were still being as cautious as possible. Yeah, surprisingly, an eventful day, but a good eventful day, you know? Not a bad one. The automatic door behind me opened up. I turned around. Uh oh. Uh oh no. We know that noise. Intense pain seized my back. The next thing I knew, I was being forced against a wall nowhere near the front of the hotel. I had no idea why this was happening, so we got teleported by Juno. But I could smell perfume. Following the scent, I looked ahead. But why, why does she look like that? I saw her. I don't know if I want to tell you anything if you look like that. And who are you to, to Kent as well? Or, you know, who are you in general? Her eyes were full of vitriol. Pretty much only those associated with the Holy Office 513 knew about Kent Korihisha. Was she an agent too? I don't think she is. I feel like this is a whole different group. I've, I've talked about this at the end of like a previous episode, but there's all these like different groups that we have going on here. And Juno has to be associated with some sort of group, maybe with Sikita, but then you also have Asuma, then you also have the police. Then you also have Oz doing his own thing, which is like connecting to, you know, a little bit of everybody. Then there's us. And then there's the Holy Office. It's like you've got all these groups, but where does Juno necessarily fall? Like, wh where is she at? What is her goal here? I had a bad feeling about this. Oh, yeah, I could call Poland using my BMI. But before I had the chance. <laughs> Oh, cool. All right. Yeah, let's, let's connect some dots that way. That sounds fun. And that is chapter six. Damn, these chapters just feel like they're going by quick. We're, we're already into chapter seven. And things, I, I mean, they, they've always felt ramped up, but like, I don't know. I don't know what's really to come here. There's just this constant trying to find Sikita, trying to find Kent Korihisha. Trying to,、uh, trying to figure out you know, this whole Juno situation, who she's with. There's, there's all these things going on here, but you know, where's that progress necessarily? Also, I just don't want to die to Juno again. That would suck. All right, let us,、uh, let us wrap it up there. I think this is an okay spot to end the episode. Even so, I think this will be slightly shorter compared to other episodes, which I apologize for, but. I do have things to do, unfortunately. A little bit of a life to live outside of recording videos. I know it's crazy, but yeah, I'll, I'll try to make it up in the next few episodes, record them a little longer if I can. But thank you all for coming out for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz, and I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy.